Thanks for having me. And we are learning more about that chaotic scene in Delaware after a driver crashed into an SUV in President Biden's motorcade. The president was leaving his campaign headquarters in Wilmington last night when the crash happened. Mr. Biden was rushed into a vehicle before agents quickly surrounded the car and drew their weapons on that driver. Correspondent Evan Lambert is live. And Evan, authorities ultimately determining that this was actually not an intentional act. Right, Nicole, Wilmington police tell News Nation it appears that the crash was an accident that they believe involved alcohol. The driver was issued a summons and is now facing charges. It doesn't appear he even knew the car he hit was protecting the president's motorcade. But watch the scary moment play out and President Biden's reaction just after having responded to a question from reporters. Mr. President, why are you losing to Trump in the polls? Reacting with shock after the sudden loud crash, the White House pool of reporters following the president, noting that it just happened last night after 8 p.m. Eastern as the president was leaving the Biden-Harris campaign headquarters in Wilmington, Delaware. Secret Service agents usher the president into his black SUV and then draw their guns on the driver. This whole incident leading to charges for 46-year-old James Cooper of Wilmington, police issuing him a summons for driving under the influence of alcohol and inattentive driving. And in a statement, the Secret Service saying in part, quote, there was no protective interest associated with this event and the president's motorcade departed without incident. No one was hurt in the crash. It's not clear if the suspected driver, Cooper, has a lawyer. Nicole? Oh, well, we are certainly glad uh, everyone is okay. All right, Evan, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.